Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. I am Alex Antuna and today I'm gonna kinda do one one more video and this one is where I'm at. So I've imported and exported just about every piece from this model in ZBrush into Toolbag. Now a lot of them were kinda loosely unwrapped using just kind of recap a little bit from the last video but use a UV master and just doing a quick unwrap on a lot of these pieces it's not very clean it's very quick and dirty because you know time takes a lot of time to pack if I were to pack these UVs in another program that's another step just wanted to get it in here so as you can see all the models are in here I have a HDR kind of a environment I'm kind of happy with Let's zoom in. Let me let me leave that camera where it was. Let's go to perspective. Well, yeah, let's leave it at camera because it has a lot of. I have this bloom setting on here, the lens flare, and it kind of affects that. Turned it on, a little lens flare. Just kind of give a little little slight something to it. We can turn it off, but we'll leave it on. We'll leave it with the camera. We'll, we're not setting up the camera yet. But what I did do is create some some of this glow inside of there and some a little bit makeup, touching up some of her lips, uh, a little bit of textures. The tricky part was trying to figuring out if I add more skin textures, if it makes her look not because this whole cyberpunk world is kind of like integrated with this hardware in their face so is their face plastic or is it skin so I didn't want to make it look like you know they got like a lot of facial detail because they're they're part you know cyberpunk so this is about where I kind of left it uh, you can start seeing the reflections I'm kind of fine-tuning everything so if I go to uh, one of these models you can start to see uh, kind of have a color I was going a little darker some of the pieces, if I zoom in like this, they actually have a layer. So I added a little stainless steel to it. I could paint up some more going in there. Just trying to give a little more character. I didn't want to go too uh, too heavy because, uh, how you say, there's a there's a fine balance of overly complicated stuff. Or going too heavy on a certain direction as opposed to because uh, I really wanted to do some decals kind of details but as I, I start looking at the model it starts to seem like is that really the best choice I did kind of detail this up a little bit give a little bit more uh, little glow like it's gonna go in there you can see some of the faceting here, but we're so far back, it doesn't really matter, and you don't really see all this detail. It's all the details that I wanted, but it still it still looks busy enough. So if I were to zoom out and I go to best, now you can start to see for what it really would look like uh, as a best render. Each one of these little things have so much going on that it's already kind of it's already busy enough I don't, I don't know if I want this dark let's see what this is okay. I like the gray and purple theme that I was going with okay, so over here going I don't know if I want to see if it helps it um, can't really tell uh, let's like this one let's see if I can grab that can I grab it Really grab it, loop around, see if there's a difference. But yeah, I'm pretty close to just calling it done. Besides what I, the little things here and there, and then the other part is going into your your render settings. Uh, I added a double, like, kind of like some darker parts, ambient occlusion and stuff. I wanted to add a little bit more to this stuff, but reality. 
doesn't really make any sense. It's already kind of like busy. I felt like uh, you could already get an idea of what's going on here. Just kind of fine tuning it just to be a little bit more in the same family of this whole part. Even all this, look at this right here. So I found, um, where is that? Arm. Found a pretty cool texture here. So if I turn it off, it looks flat, right? If I turn it on, there it is. It was under the metals, and it had like uh, kind of like it fit. It fit this kind of like style. So I was like, you know what? There you go. So if I turn it off, it looks kind of plain, right? Now, boom, more detail. So I'm getting down to the last parts of this, of just finishing. I'm, I'm just kind of like. It was a good run. I had a good run with it. I worked on it during the weekend and just kind of going back and forth. This is a fun, fun little challenge for me. I feel like uh, just little things here and there. And I'm adjusting as I'm talking too. So I like that little metallic look. Kind of shines a little bit. It shows that it's a little more expensive. I think. Let's zoom in. Yeah, let's go ahead and add subdivision. Just a touch, right? Yeah, just enough to get the smoothness. You can see all this detail carried over too, so that's pretty fun. Just a little bit more polishing, but to be honest, from this distance, can you tell? Not really. Her other side, she doesn't have an ear. I didn't, we didn't focus on this side, but it's kind of teases from here up. So that's a little fun. A little bit of a save some of my time as I work. So let's get to the next part of this is how the style. If so, what I like is that I can duplicate this camera. We can, uh, let's go to, uh, where are you at? I'll look for it, safe frame. This will actually tell me my composition of what it's going to be. So we're going to put her where she needs to be. I like that lens flare. It's just kind of teasing a little bit. So I want this to flow here so we could probably put a little more. Uh, you know, a little focus this way. I can always blow it up, trick it down. And I could do another view too given this is real time it doesn't really take long right uh let's go to our focus this is a little bit of we we'll use ray traced and we can select middle mouse there you go oh something else i want to show check this out so i did have time to start texturing right but look at this her eyes are lit up it's lit up in there I need to fix her eyeliner just a little bit better, but for now, I'll just wanted to show where this is going. But she has lights in her eyes. You can't see it to from from a distance. I could probably put a, a little light to make it glow. I don't know if that's would help. We could try it. Let's see. Let's see if I can get a small light. Duplicate. We'll just name it. This is just a test. And let's turn off this. Let's select I. And we want it to be Omni. Let's grab the lights. Let's reset everything. Rotations zero zero zero. Zero it all out. Zero. If it works, it does. If it doesn't, it's whatever. All the light. Let's go to a sphere. It's tiny. It's tiny. Let's see. See if it doesn't mess up her subsurface scattering, but we're gonna figure that out. We'll just see what it does. Just drop that down just enough. So 
I really like to have a little touch to that eye. Let's get the rotation scale rotated so it's got the, the pivot. Put that in the eye. See if it stays. There we go. We don't want nothing too crazy. We just want it to bloom just a little bit. And we're just going to tease. We don't want to flare. We just want it to kind of be there. Uh, let's see. This map get smaller. What's that look like? Let's see. Let's see if it looks like anything better. No. Let it clear up. I don't know if that helps. See what else. I don't know. It might not work. It might not be what I want. Cause this this will only go so low, right? And maybe if I just give it a little less color, a little noisy in it. Might not work. Let's just delete it. It was a good test. Good test. I could always do it in post. That's where it's at. So let's get into uh, a little bit of that pose. So here we go. We've got her looking to the left. I could always mirror everything and wish, you know, go that way, but I'm, I'm not like this way. Go a little bit, a little bit more for me. So let's go to the camera. Let's turn it on. Depth the field to kind of get get a little bit of a feeling. Select her eye. You can increase right here for those people wearing tool bag. Look at that. You can like give it a little bit more. It looks like a miniature model. But just want to tease. I don't want to overpower and lose all that detail either. Just go just a little. I forgot what I had it at. There's good. I'm gonna lose a lot of this detail on the side, so let's kind of clean that up a little bit. Just want a little. A little more focus. Let's see. I have this at nine. I think it was something I was playing around with. Let's see what 10 looks like. Barely tell. Look, if I do a, a heart, you can see the <laughs> the shapes in there. This is this will change your, um, as they say, bulky, bulky. We can play around with this, but I like the nine. It kind of gave me the you're, you're a little bit of a going there. Let's go to the flare. What I had was let's see. Just undo that, whatever I had before. But you can start to see this is more more or less where you're playing around with just the, the settings. This is the size, so if you want to shrink it just a little bit, just, just, just enough. You got motion blur, but I don't have anything animated. You got a distortion, uh, chromatic abrasion. Let's see what it looks like. Ooh, look at that. She's, she's, uh, just, just slight, just give a little touch. I don't know. 
Not too, not too much, but you, you just get a little bit of that distorted. Post effects, post effects. This is where um, we get the look a little bit more locked in. Look at that. I like the dark feel, but this is usually standard. Go here. We'll just start adjusting. I'll keep this up. Let's play with these tones. Let's go with this. But it depends on the style that I'm going for. If I'm going for that, that look, up that clarity. It looks like with this. Natural, let's see. Highlights a little bit, a little more. The other thing I can do is go to presets. I, I liked one of these down here. I could leave it here and be happy, but I'm going to do one version with the default and then one version with the uh, other. I'll, I'll, I'll adjust it later. But you can start to see, I just I can play with this all day, just getting a look. See there, right there. Her irises look so big, but, but that's kind of. Let's see, outer eye that was called. Let me see if I can cover that up just some more. This is where the playing with comes into. So I can up that and drop it to be a little more. Has a little more cold, right? Adjustments. I did add I like a clear coat reflective reflectivity, but we got a reflection. Let's add this in, see if it helps. If I got it, uh, just a little bit. Let's see, just a little bit. You can see where it goes. I'm just playing with stuff, trying to get a little more life back into her. Up these shadows just slightly so she's not so dark. All those details, all these little, they don't seem like much, but they are, they're there, right? They're just like, kinda. some of this just what we had created right so it kind of works out so you can kind of zoom out just a little bit let's focus that back in there we go so we start to have like a little more definition to see what this does Ooh, kind of killed it did it too clear I don't want any sharpness I like it kind of a little bit a little bit noisy little so here's a another part just, just a little bit Ooh, there you go just give it a little bit don't want to overdo it just just enough just just so we can see on the edges like I said you could play play with settings all day we can bring it in in that softness. But I don't really need a vignette. I like her kind of exposed this way. Give a little film. See if this helps. Just, just touch. Not a lot. Just a little bit. 
for some dirt, but I don't want that. Dirt size. That's about it for this. Uh, it's about where I'm going to call it. This is this is about whether or not I keep adjusting or give it a lot more detail or just do another camera and push and pull or try to get a another I, I thought about animating a little bit closer so you can see your eyes so given parts of it so we don't lose everything that was done but this is about where it's at I'm gonna probably do a render and uh, yeah go from there show guides there we go so I'm gonna open this up to full screen there you go it's about what she looks like this for whoever's been following if you want um, you know, pull this up over here I've got all the videos from pretty much from the start just going along for whoever's interested in following wherever this went this was a, a long video I actually got this will be part 23 so I'll call that call it done I think this is what we're on the stop unless I keep fine-tuning it but right now this is about where it's at this is a uh, pretty happy with what I ended up with so this was fun it was a challenge it was uh, don't always do female characters and that was a challenge I haven't done uh, cyberpunk to this extent that was another challenge pulling in references and stuff like that to get a look so I hope it was you know informative uh, fun to watch or any whatever you know so I appreciate people watching this one and uh, hope everybody's doing well uh, later have a good day